track, I swear The baddest bitch on the map, five words Go get the bag, honey Baby got no Rockstar allowing ground vehicles to have homing missiles in GTA Online has completely corrupted the gameplay. I should start off by saying that this is very much going to be a rant video. I've had this kind of rant festering up in my brain for quite some time now, and I will be fully honest, it did start coming up when the oppressor was released into the game. If you can think back not even that long ago, before this semi-recent nerf, probably within the last year, year and a half, for the oppressor Mark II's rockets, you can remember a horrible, horrible time when everybody on the server was running this thing. You could not escape, no matter where you were, whether you were in the air, whether you were on land or sea, this thing was hounding you. This thing was taking you out left and right. Thankfully though, Rockstar did make the correct decision in nerfing it a tiny bit. It still has this massive presence and honestly, it is the thing to be using still for these PvPers. If only they would hit the other vehicles in the game with the same problem. But they will never do that because GTA 6 is releasing right around the corner for next year in 2025. So why am I bringing this up now? Because I am fed up to be quite honest. I've made my round, I've made my few month round where I've been like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get back in the GTA and, and I'm, I'm loving it. I've been playing GTA 5 since its birth, since its release way back when in 2013. Very on and off, but still, you always come back to it. And let me tell you, they release new updates as they go along to real players back in and it's fantastic, it's great. But you know what's not great? Being reminded why you kind of get sick of the online PvP presence so quickly. I wish that not only myself, but for all of you to be able to freely drive whatever vehicle you want in the online free roam session. But you can't, but you can't these days. No, you are getting destroyed constantly. Your cars are being destroyed. You gotta call up Moors all the freaking time because you got griefers, you got hardcore PVPers flying around in these cars. Just ruining your whole day. I should not feel the need to drive around or even purchase armored vehicles or even get the anti-lock mechanism to fully embrace the free roam of GTA. But unfortunately, that is the world that we are living in. Are these armored cars and all these special cars bad? Not at all, they're sick. I actually really like them. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of them. But that is the problem. You feel the need, you feel necessary to be purchasing all of these vehicles just to actually enjoy what you're doing. You can't do a business battle anymore without getting attacked by just the cheapest dude ever. And I will be bringing up this vehicle quite a bit in this video, but I do want to just kind of get most of my hate out of the way. And it is, it is, it is the Oppressor Mark II. Not so much the Oppressor Mark I. That one's not the worst thing ever, but it's mostly the second. I am never going to be afraid to just make the announcement that the Oppressor is the worst thing that Rockstar has ever added into GTA Online. On top of that, it counts as a motorcycle. So if you're a member of an MC, that allows you just to order up directly to your feet whenever you want. As I have previously stated, yes, the Oppressor Mark II recently received a nerf to its rockets. They don't curve as much. They don't do some crazy godlike maneuvers anymore. However, they still do hit and they, they be taking you out. And I do want to clarify that the Oppressor Mark II is definitely not the only vehicle with this problem. Other ground-based vehicles such as the Deluxo, the Scramjet, the Stromberg, the Ruiner 2000, just to name a few, there's plenty more where that came from, all are at fault to this issue. They all have extremely maneuverable rockets and they all have the dumbest traversals I have ever seen in any game. Don't get me wrong, they are extremely cool. I love that the Deluxo can just hover and fly and glide around, that's sick. Scramjet with the boosts is actually very <laughs> hilarious seeing a, a car just flying through the city like that. And the Ruiner 2000 is probably the most random modification I've ever seen, it just, it just boosts its itself up and glides with a little parachute. I I don't understand it. It's sick, but does it need rockets? No, no, it really doesn't. All of these cars and vehicles in general, including the Oppressor, is very, very cool. And their ability for traversal should not be punished at all. I think the Oppressor is a perfect vehicle for doing this. You shouldn't have the rockets on it. That's the issue. Take away the rockets. This thing is fantastic for just running missions in an open lobby. As stated before, the MC is perfect for this. You can order it to yourself, boom, you're off. 
instant delivery with it too. The same cannot be said with the Deluxo, Scramjet, Stromberg, you know, Ruiner 2000 and all those cars. You do actually have to call the mechanic for some of these and then it takes a moment to be delivered and it's down the street or around the block, whatever it might be. However, even with that slightly less convenience, these cars are perfect for just going from point A to point B. It's, it's unmatched. Even with the air vehicles, and that's what I'll lean into in just a little bit, the air vehicles are definitely not obsolete. However, you can't beat the convenience of these other ground-based vehicles. And that is also the other issue. Because of their convenience for all these cars and motorcycle, pairing that with the homing rocket is just, it's, it's busted. And it just breaks the game and honestly ruins the PvP experience for quite a few people. Now, do I think traveling around with these lock-on homing missiles is stupid from a, from a car? Absolutely. You know what's not stupid, though, is <laughs> other rocket vehicles in this game. Other ground-based vehicles, I should clarify. The APC is hilarious, and I love this thing. It's a beast. It's a monster on its own. Same with both of the tanks in this game. Let it shoot its giant missile. Like, that's, that's perfectly fine. Could you imagine, though, if that thing could lock on? That's... That's some bullshit. Even the insurgent or the turreted limo, like both of these things have miniguns on top of them. That's not a problem. It's it's not a matter of a weaponized ground-based vehicle. I think they're very fun, and I think they make for hilarious and very entertaining PvP purposes. If you just got rid of the broken missiles on these things, it would be a fantastic place. The Ruiner 2000 has mounted MGs on it. Just leave those. It doesn't need the rockets. The Deluxo has MGs on it. Just leave those, get rid of the rockets. And you know where I'm going with this, the oppressor has MGs on this thing. Get rid of the missiles. Although I will say, I feel like using MGs on the oppressor would be extremely difficult to do, but still, that's the point. Now, I don't know for a fact, so don't 100% quote me on this, but just taking a wild guess, before these vehicles started appearing into the game, the Hydra was the king of all PvP. I mean, people were swooping down, making strafe runs left and right. And honestly, you couldn't do too much to them. You had to basically go get your own flying vehicle and just try and dogfight them out of the sky, which, by the way, is extremely fun. And with all of these ground-based vehicles now in the game that just make everything completely unfair and unfun and unchallenging. I don't want to be in a helicopter or a plane running for my life from a dude on a broomstick motorcycle looking thing. Like that's that ruins the immersion almost for catching my drift. And don't get me wrong, air vehicles are 100% not obsolete. However, they are extremely watered down in the online presence. They are very fun and they've released plenty of different varieties of aircraft over the years, but in all seriousness, it's extremely one-sided which one wins, either the air or the ground slash air, because most of them just fly in general. And as a callback, you're just going to order up a car or one of the motorcycles before you order up an air-based vehicle, because you have to travel so far to go get one. Would you rather travel an extra mile, a mile and a half to go get a plane, or would you rather get a flying car delivered right to you? Planes, jets, and helicopters should have superiority in the sky. Like, that's what they're made to do. You know, and all of these overkill vehicles now in the game just kind of ruin it. And kind of lastly, really quick, I'd love to talk about just more of the PvP side of things. This is very much a rant coming from deep down in my heart. Fuck everyone who decides to play like this. And you know exactly who I'm talking about. You know that you are you, and if you've ever played against someone like this, you know. <laughs> You know, leave a like down below if you agree with this statement. But the players who solely love to PvP with the Oppressor, the Luxo, Stromberg, any, any, any of the above mentioned stupid vehicles, <laughs> these are the guys that only use the RPGs in gunplay. These are the fellas that would rather blow themselves up, rather die into your hand to save their KD. These guys love the oppressor, or just any kind of stupidly broken weapon or overly toxic vehicle in the game. And that's where it all kind of travels back to the beginning of my video. Do I think GTA Online is bad? Absolutely not. I think it's actually incredible, and I've been playing for quite literally over 10 years now, so... You know, no argument there. But do I think it's a pretty toxic place? Yeah. There are so many reasons for, for that alone. However, just everything I mentioned in this video is just, it's just, 
pure evidence to that. I would love it if Rockstar actually were to do something about this. They 100% will not because like I said, GTA 6 is around the corner. Or just imagine a place where the Hydra ruled the skies again. And one more time, if you would imagine you get in a fight with a dude and he's just chasing you in a normal car. Dude, that's nice. If you were going to hit me with a giant rocket, then either mount it on your shoulder or go to the airport, go to the helipad, and pick up that flying vehicle, dude. Yeah, that's it. That, <laughs> that's that's going to be the video because I'm just I'm so fed up. I'm so fed up. If you agree with anything that I said in this video, please leave a like down below. But anyways, those were my quick thoughts on the matter that have just been boiling up in my brain for the past, like, six, <laughs> seven years. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I will see y'all in the next one.